Chronicles. Welcome. I hope this video catches y'all and you know, all that good stuff. So I know I've been promising videos, which I am in the middle of editing a video to show y'all how I styled my hair before I cut it all off. Um, I do put up my shorts to keep y'all updated on my um, journey with alopecia. So if you don't know, back in 2020, I started this channel and I put up two videos um, explaining how I actually had put up a video just showing how I style my natural hair. But then while I was styling it, I noticed how my hair was so thin, like I was doing a bang and a faux bun with the um, Marley hair. My go-to style from when I did years ago, I've been natural now since 2015. And all four of my girls are natural. And my oldest daughter is 17 and she has never had her lapses. So I'm very in my baby sister, I've always done her hair. All of us, we, we have natural hair. So I'm, I'm very, I think I'm, I'm, I have very good influence in natural hair, I should say. But um, I noticed how my hair was falling out. So I wanted to come on here and talk about alopecia and how, um, and bring you along with my journey, um, how I'm dealing with alopecia, what has happened throughout my journey these two years because it's now 2022 um i have gone through a lot of transformations with my hair and my hair is actually um getting worse in the middle here and i just wanted to show y'all how i have how i decided to style it today and how i hide it right so um with the short hair it's actually a little easier i have a video coming up when i braid it um my daughter did braids i have a little short video showing the process of her braiding it but she actually took detailed videos and pictures and i wanted to show how actually with my with her braiding doing the individual plait she was still able to make my hair look full and actually um I just I just wanted to show y'all how my hair has actually got full. So actually, I was <laughs> I was coming on here because I'm getting ready to do another video um for for some other content creation content and I wanted to come on here and do um I was like, well, if I'm going to be doing my hair, I might as well go live over here and actually tell y'all how I um about my journey. So, I know some people want to know what products I use. So, the products that I use, I'm old school. I have always loved Blue Magic. I have a Blue Magic short on here. I know people are against Blue Magic because of the petroleum, but um me and my daughters, I have always used Blue Magic in all our hair. Um I will continue to use Blue Magic cuz I love Blue Magic. I haven't used any Blue Magic since I cut my hair. Um I have I have a short video as well on that. And I talk about, I just show you how I got my hair cut very, very low. That was actually almost a month ago, exactly a month ago. And my hair has grown back good. And I will show y'all the pro the progress of that. Um, if only my hair would grow back in the middle where it's actually thin at. But I know a lot of women appreciate me um, expressing and showing y'all how I styled my hair back then. Um, high in the alopecia in the thinness. Back then, my hair, to go back to what I was talking about in the beginning, my hair actually fell out really bad because of COVID. I had COVID for quite a while. Um, I tested positive for weeks and I was sick actually for about four weeks. Like really sick. And it caused my hair to fall out very bad in the edges. Well, it grew bad, but the middle didn't. In the middle alopecia is um all, the overall thinning was from covid my hair my um hair was falling out in my hands but actually it's from it's hereditary because my granny has it my mama has it but mine just started very early mine started actually um 20 19 or 2020 i was um taking a twist out a flat twist style out and i was taking a picture of my hair and i noticed it in the back through the mirror and that's when i noticed it um starting but it got really really bad in 2020 when i had covid it was like my hair was not like that at all before i got sick um because my daughter had just did a head full of braids in my hair so i actually have pictures uh, before she did the braids so if you come into this video and you're watching the playback make sure you leave a like make sure you leave a comment make sure you subscribe to my channel i want this channel to grow i want this channel to reach women all over so that we can see that we are not alone um in this journey that we um that is actually very common 
and I'm and I noticed once I put up my video back in 2020 on my Instagram um I leave my Instagram information below but when I put up that video that's when I noticed like a lot of women actually deal with it they just wear wigs and I love wigs this is probably like the longest time I haven't worn wigs y'all like I'm addicted to the wigs I love looking different um that's probably why I'm coloring my hair so much plus I don't want to have to pay all that money to get my hair colored. I don't have no background in hair. I just always have done hair and been around friends that actually do hair. And so I picked up and I go on Instagram. I mean, I go on YouTube in the quickness and learn how to do something myself. But um, that's probably why I'm changing my hair color so much. But I'm actually trying to get it to like a light blonde. And I just wanted to do it bit by bit. I didn't want to do like a bit drastic change at one time. I was a little nervous to do that. But um, I'm going to show y'all my hair. So actually my hair is lighter than on the other videos. And I actually put up a video talking about how um, I colored my hair to have my alopecia. And y'all, it actually worked. Because, you know, it, it helps the hair blend in. And um, this is my hair. So, so far my hair has been growing. I did um, I speak about an uh, um, oil concoction that I use. And this is some rosemary tea tree oil and a couple of other things that I use. Um, I always made an oil for me and my girl's hair. Now, I slip my hair down in the front. Um, I don't know what it looked like. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the first time since I colored it. So, I colored my hair last Friday, um, this color. And it actually, um, I'm actually having to, um, <laughs> I, and my daughter, my oldest, did me some waves. And it's, and it's actually having to grow on me, this color. But um, I do love it. Now, what I did um, last Friday, what she ended up doing was she slicked it down for me with, um, and y'all, it slicked down like a relaxer. Okay, these are my curls. I don't know if y'all can see them. They look good. And my edges are growing back here. I haven't cut my hair. I haven't been to the barbershop since I got it cut low so that my edges will grow in. Um, even over here, my edges never grow in over here. And they're growing in. So, um, I'm going to show y'all the back. I don't know what the back look like because let me see if I can see y'all. Okay. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Okay. So, I got my hair cut. It was like a design right here. So, that's where the design is. But um, here, all my hair is so thick. This is usually how my hair is. It's just really thick like that. And then, this is where the alopecia is. But if you, if you see here, like you can barely see the alopecia because I don't know if it's growing off it's the way I'm just combing over. Because what I've done, y'all, I started combing my hair over. Um, if you see in the thumbnail, when I colored my hair, that um that brown color, I leave all the different colors that I use. I actually had colored, I actually um just combed it over. So I got some of the hair from back here because my hair is thinning all the way back. So um let me get in the camera okay so like back here it, go, it, it goes all the way back here but i do y'all i don't know if my hair is growing back off it's just the color and the way i'm i, I did it this morning because um that's what i was telling my daughter oh yeah you can see it here see so you can really see here but i blended it in very well and this color does help it a lot with coloring it does help so this is the back which is a cute shot and this is the back and this is the side um, let me get further over in the camera so y'all can see. But um, this is just how I styled it this morning. And the way I got my curls, I use this Nairobi, right? And I don't, it's, I hear people talk about it, but my hair is um pretty thick. And so I don't, it don't do nothing to me. I don't know. I'll see after my daughter do some waves tonight. She want to do some finger waves. And then I use this shining gem. And I promise y'all this stuff is like the bomb. Like that picture you see in a thumbnail, I use this. And it slipped my hair down. Mind you now, that was weeks ago. So my hair was a lot shorter. And it's um my hair has gotten longer. So like I couldn't even pull my hair up this much. It's still real low, of course. But it's longer than it was when I got it cut. And then um, I love this stuff. I use it um, as a as a detangler in all me and my girls' hair. And it is, y'all, it's the bomb. I love it. And what else did I use? Oh, and now before I cut my hair and threw out my short hair journey, I love to use Eco Styler. That's what gave me my curls. And um, yeah. And then I just slipped my edges down a little bit, like, <laughs> um, with the this but i hope this video has helped y'all because this is what i did to my hair um let me put on my lip stuff and all that good good stuff could i have to do something else but 
another video, but um, I feel like I, I don't I don't think we should be ashamed of our alopecia. It is really hard and it's really difficult. Um, and before I colored my hair, you could really, really see it. It was like really, really noticeable. And so um, you may not want to color your hair, but I know when I colored my hair, it it did make it much better. Like it, it didn't make it as noticeable coloring it. And then coloring it this color, I mean, you definitely can't tell. I'm not a cosmetologist, so I don't know, you know, how I did. I think I did pretty well, but I will go back and I'm going to color it a little lighter because I want like a blonde. This is called light honey blonde, which it definitely is giving light honey blonde. Um, but I don't want, I don't want any, um, oh, it's something no, no sticking here. But I don't, I don't want this color. I want like blonde blonde, you know. So I just wanted to come on here and show y'all how I styled. Um, I guess this is a TWA. I don't know. It's just, it was just low and I was growing out and I will be getting it cut back lower. I don't even want it this long, y'all, to be honest. I Listen, people like, I want to go low like that, Um, which that used to be me saying that to my baby sister all the time. Shout out to you, Carla, because I told her I was going to be like her when I grew up and I'm trying to be. And I used to say, oh, I want to um color my hair all the colors you do. And I just got the colors. I use Cream of Nature light honey blonde and then the one before that i use cream of nature as well the other ones as you see in the video i use dark and lovely but this time i use cream and cream of nature and i'll probably go back to dark and lovely because i found the perfect blonde that i want to do but y'all yeah i'm trying to i maybe shouldn't use that little stick i might have to take that off <laughs> but i hope y'all i don't know i hope y'all enjoyed this little video i'll be coming back on here with more videos and and more lives i just i, I just wanted to come on here and just share my journey with y'all give me one quick second y'all one quick second okay i just wanted to come back i wanted to come on here i keep saying come back i i do have another youtube channel and so it's like i keep saying come back and all that but um i just wanted to come on here and i just wanted to talk you know show y'all that we we don't have to let alopecia um it doesn't rule us or whatever you know i'm just filling in little spots on my face child you know i ain't no mu8 and all that good stuff. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to come on here and just let y'all know that we are not alone in our alopecia journey. You know, like we don't, we don't, we don't have to let um alopecia rule us or, or take over our life or make us depressed because I will I do be upset about my hair. You know, I always had long thick hair, and if I cut it, it was by choice. I didn't want to be forced, but I don't care. Like it is what it is. Like my edges look, I work my hair out. Um, in the middle here, I work it out. Thank you for who is ever in. Leave a like. Hey, how you doing? But yeah, so I I don't I don't think alopecia should rule us. Like we should rule alopecia. Like we should just we should work it and try to figure out what works best for us. And it does take a lot of trial and error. And I'm so glad that my hairstyles that I did in my old videos in 2020 helped y'all. Y'all know I cut my hair myself. Um, I don't, I, I'm, again, I'm not no cosmetologist or MUA. I just kind of look at how people do stuff and do it and do my own little way. And so I'm glad that it was, I was able to help y'all. I, I told my mom, I was like, I can't believe how many women, like I'm helping and how, how far my videos are reaching people. And like, that's all I want to do. That's the whole purpose of me having this YouTube channel anyway, to encourage people. And so I'm like, so it's, I'm, I'm very happy to know that I can be, you know, an encouragement. So I've been on here 13 minutes. I didn't want to come on this long. And um, but I just wanted to put this video up so y'all could see that, that we are not alone in this. And I have okay, so I have a video before I cut my hair off, how to style that, because it's really it's really noticeable because the black was growing in with the old color. So I have a video coming up and I have another video coming up, y'all, of how my daughter, how she freaking slayed my braids. I got the side shaved down and I just had the middle in the braids. And she did that thing. Like she was, she was able to really hide my hair, man. I don't I I didn't wear it. No, I did wear it down sometime, but I didn't feel quite comfortable. So, but I mean, I child, she had did that thing. And then when she did my waves the first time last Friday, y'all, you can't even tell I have I I have freaking um, you know, that, that thinning in the back. So, um, watch, if you came in late, watch the replay of this and I show how I hid the hair. I, I show you all the products that I use for this hairstyle and I gave you the name of the color, but, um, I'm glad y'all coming in. I'm glad that the, um, YouTube is notifying y'all that I'm on, that I'm on live over here on stilettos and stethoscopes. So, <laughs> 
Y'all have an um, awesome day wherever y'all are. Remember, we're not going to let this alopecia um, journey and, and all these issues. We're not going to let this thing run us because we're going to run it and we're going to still look good and we're going to still slay and we're going to figure out how we can style our hair. So I give y'all a... Um, show y'all i have to use my mirror so i can show y'all how my hair is styled so this is how i look in the back and that's just for me getting my hair cut when i had got it cut real low and then um and this is on the side so that's how i did it and then hold on and then this is where the hair is thinning at but again i think it it looks it looks really like to me it looks really blended good it doesn't look real like blotch i don't know how to describe y'all the words i should use but it doesn't it doesn't look like it's filled in a lot because it's colored and i and i just love it y'all and also <laughs> i'm just so happy because i was scared to do this color and i was scared i don't, I don't know you know you'd be scared to try stuff but again we just gotta try it and if you don't like it you know you could throw a turban on or you could color it back black or whatever i don't know I don't, I'm not, don't listen to me. I'm not a stylist. Or you could just wear a wig or something like I usually do. So, um, again, I'm so glad that, I'm so excited that this channel is doing good. Y'all make sure y'all share this with all y'all friends, anybody you know that's going through this. Um, also, you can follow me over on Instagram on Mom Nurse Fashionista. Okay, and you can keep up with me over there and you can always leave a comment below and DM me over there if you have any questions. All right. Bye, y'all.